My name is Jack Pettengill. I'm the co-owner of Dynamic Defensive Arts, and I'm the Senior Defensive Tactics Instructor with our Street Self-Defense Program. Well, Dynamic Defensive Arts, the name didn't happen overnight. We actually put a lot of thought into it. And what David and I ended up deciding on are those three words because dynamic basically means our cardinal rule. You will react how you've trained, and we wanted something that was, that was truly dynamic for the real world. Defensive is obvious. Uh, this isn't this isn't anything that, that's going to be designed for anything but self-defense and self-defense training. So there's defensive. And the art is kind of a double entendre. That's our throwback to martial arts as well as sometimes the, the old analogy, it's more art than science, definitely comes into play because all of our students come in here different sizes and shapes. Some of them can't make certain movements and all of those techniques are tailored to the movements that they can make. Hence, dynamic defensive arts. When David, my business partner, and I opened up Dynamic Defensive Arts, we started with nothing. All we had was, was a space. We found a space, and that was basically it. All the, all the paint, all the furniture, everything that, that you see here at Dynamic was as we went. Um, as, we, as we developed our clientele and as we grew as a business, we were able to, to add more and build it into what it's become today. Um, we did bring a couple students with us from a from an old location and it's that same expression that you get when you walk into a place for the first time and you haven't shared the vision with the person who has the space and they look around and go nice okay this is where we're going to be but now it obviously has grown into what it has and all our students are very proud to be here well we keep posted up in a couple banners here at dynamic defensive arts a very simple rule you will react how you've trained so train properly and what, that's, what that is is a reminder to students about muscle memory. The more you, you perform an action, the more it'll be there under stress or in an instant when you need it most. The advanced students at Dynamic Defensive Arts also get weapons disarm training. So unfortunately there are people out in the world that do carry weapons and we break them down into three categories. Guns, knives, and clubs, just to keep it simple. And the advanced students at Dynamic Defensive Arts get to use leverage and redirection force to not only remove those items from the, uh, from the would-be attacker, but if they're forced to, how to use them to affect their escape. The improvised weapons training that we do at Dynamic Defensive Arts, I have divided into the big four. Pens, keys, cell phones are things that we've all got on us. They're, they're everyday items that we have. And then a fourth one that I kind of keep in parentheses uh, is flashlight training something that I encourage everybody to carry because flashlights are getting small enough and they're powerful enough now that they, cannot, they can be an item of distance, shining the light into the eyes of the attacker. Or if you're forced to, you, it can be a weapon of close proximity. You can use it to strike your attacker uh, and also get out of that situation. So the Street Self-Defense Program at Dynamic Defensive Arts, again, compiles all kinds of real world scenarios, up and down stairs, in and out of elevators, getting in and out of your car in the parking garage, uh, as well as what to do from the seated position, whether that's a case of mistaken identity or something happens to you while you're in the seated position. And we have techniques for all of those that I think help us to grow as we continue to, to expand our business. And what that boils down to is at Dynamic Defensive Arts, we don't do helpless.